Welcome to a sip of kosher caffeine, guidance in our daily lives from the laws of our holy Torah with Rabbi Shlomo Azagwin. This is somewhat of a complicated sip of kosher caffeine. So you got to really focus and you may need to listen to this more than one time. When is it possible that a person is blamed for having caused somebody else to do a sin to do something wrong? The Torah writes before a blind person, which includes someone blind to certain laws, that he may transgress and disobey because he doesn't know better, do not place a stumbling block. So for example, in a lending transaction with another Jew which involves the charge of interest, besides the prohibitions involved in lending and borrowing with interest, there is also the prohibition for the borrower when he takes the money from the lender of having placed a stumbling block before the lender who lends the money and transgresses a sin when charging interest. Another similar law. If someone offers a Nazarite wine, which is forbidden to the Nazarite, this someone transgressing placing a stumbling block before the blind, if the Nazarite would not and could not transgress without his help. It is only when he creates the transgression that would not exist had he not taken the money, borrowed the money, or offered the wine, that he also has to be the one that because of him, the act and the prohibition of charging interest or drinking the wine takes place. However, if the transgression would happen anyway, because someone else is there to trip the individual blind guy to stumble him, let's say for example in the case of a Nazarite, there was someone else on the other side of the river prepared to stick his hand out and offer the Nazarite wine, and instead the other person offered the wine to the Nazarite, then you take the place of the person that was already there and you transgress the placing of the stumbling block. So according to this, the Pischei Tshuva says, if another borrower is borrowing money from a Jewish person with interest, but it's for the sake of a mitzvah, for the sake of saving a life, where interest in that particular case is permissible, certain types of interest, and someone else approaches the lender, and he says he wants to borrow money, but he does not have the legal permissible excuses to take money with interest. Since he would be creating, through his borrowing, the prohibited act of charging interest on the sake of the lender and himself, he is the one that is creating this prohibition. He would also then need the condition of being the entire cause of the sinner sinning, and since he is not the one that is creating this situation, since the lender is lending anyway, to the person who he is permitted to be lending to, therefore in this specific case where he creates the sin in the case of the lender, but he is not the only one causing the lender to lend, he would not transgress the prohibition of placing a stumbling block before the blind. See you next time when we brew our fresh sip of kosher caffeine.